welcome everybody to our Art and Success Pro membership call. Those on the waiting list, Pro is not like any other membership. One thing that's different about it is that it follows my success path and you go at your own pace. And I will give you more information about the success path in just a few slides. And also you will be saving time. I'm talking about time in your life, not just a few minutes, but years, perhaps decades. And I'm going to help you simplify the learning curve. My goal is to help you improve faster. I went the slow route. I prefer that others go the fast route if they can. Each masterclass provides another step up, kind of like a step stool. Uh, also, because my history is full of fear and procrastination, and because I was able to overcome 99.9% .9 of that, uh, I now know uh, some, some great ways to do that. And one of them is to learn how to play. But play is not as easy as one might think, but play does unlock your creativity. And that's what I hope to share with you. I also believe that pro membership will help you gain confidence. With confidence, you can think about all the way to the end of your work where you're finishing a piece and you ask yourself, is my painting finished? Well, some of that comes down to being able to know that deep down in your heart and your soul when it is done. So therefore you learn how to critique your own work. No competition, your success path is unique and personal. There are not gonna be any two artists who travel this success path of mine in the very same way. And Pro emphasizes your personal growth and creative journey, not the final result. There are way too many things that happen along any artist's journey that need to be celebrated way before the final product. Um, and so I hope that gives people comfort. And once you know who you are, you will not need approval of others. So for $20 a month, what is included in the Art and Success Pro membership? You have monthly targeted master classes with clear goals, exercises, projects, and tasks, 24-7 uh, access, and 24-7 access to the entire Watch and Grow library. I heard some of you earlier that you are in the library and you know that there is so much content in there. You could spend a lifetime in there. Right now there's over 150 plus hours, but I continue to add to it uh, weekly, monthly, and then some of our pro content goes in there like our live Q&A calls and some other things that I'd like to add and share with us in the library because that is a separate membership. Interviews and studio tours with pro members. I did an interview yesterday with Cindy Lewis about color and texture. Many of you in the pro membership know her and know of her work. And so that will be coming to a future masterclass. And my coaching private pro Facebook group is where I show up a lot, uh, comment on people's posts, and I will do live Facebook um, chats every now and then. I also do live monthly Q&A calls. And then there's also a 15 to 50% off discount on all of my courses, which are all online at this moment. And they are uh, lifetime courses. So once you purchase a course, you have access for life. Additional topics include art history, self-care, like Belinda Priscilla has an upcoming um, PonderCast, which is like a listen-only audio on mindset. It's fabulous. I loved what she has submitted and it's coming to a future masterclass, as well as the top struggles of our artists. You can also ask me questions and we have a system that all you have to do is send an email to me through a special email and it uh, provides a ticket for you and for me so that I don't miss your email. And sometimes when I read a person's question, I contact them and say, hey, do you want to do a one-on-one? -on -one? Because sometimes the topic is one that I feel will benefit other members. And I like to share that conversation with others. And the other thing is a $20 per month forever price. The pro membership is only open to new members every six months. And during that six month period, I'm adding a lot of content. So as you can imagine, Every time I open for enrollment, the price will be higher. But when you join now, you lock in this price forever. All you have to do is remain an active subscriber. So next time, I don't know what it will be. 
It could be $25 a month. It could be $30 a month. But for you, it will be $20 a month. Another question, how is the information delivered? Videos, demos, PDFs? Uh, yes, all of the above. So I have a lot of videos showing you exactly how to reinforce the most important topics that I feel every serious artist must know in order to create their best, most personal art. All videos are searchable. This is something brand new. Uh, a couple of months ago, I moved my entire school from one platform to another, and I invested in searchable content. Uh, there are optional captions as well, and the ability to download transcripts as well. My entire Art and Success website now has the state-of-the-art technology. And, you know, it's so that you can have the very best experience. I wanted that for all of you. The PDFs are downloadable. You can print them, review them, compile them into a workbook, and always learn. And this is a lovely painting by one of our members, Cindy Lewis, and she's the one that I interviewed yesterday. Okay, and this lovely work is by Jennifer Grace. She is also um, one of our pro members. Another question, how much time do the masterclass lessons take? I have limited time. And I know all of you have limited time. That's just the way it is. Each lesson in a masterclass averages five to 20 minutes. So you can just listen to the videos anytime. Uh, and that just means that, you know, you play it on your computer or your phone, but you might be cooking, you might be um, jogging or walking. Uh, and then you can actually view the actual video anytime and you can do the art exercises and projects uh, in short 10 to 20 minute slots. Uh, the exercises are not meant to take a whole lot of time, uh, depends on which master class it is. Make great use of your 10 to 20 minute slots of time. The handmade mark making tool on the left is by Nano Smith. Isn't that cool? So question, will I fall behind everyone else if something else comes up? It isn't really possible to fall behind. Each pro member has 24 seven access to the same material, but each artist goes at their own pace, most suitable for them. We all meet as a community in our private Facebook group, but this does not mean that we are all at the very same place in the master classes. The exercises are meant to be repeated often and added to or practiced for the rest of your life. So Pam, how do you define success? And uh, I put together this little um, image on the right-hand side, and I know you can't really see my pointer, but um, what that is, is all the things that I, I think that not just myself, but everybody has a different definition of success. And I want you to know, I define success in art as everything that it takes to achieve our goals, whatever that may be. Number one, you've got to show up. Number two, accountability, consistency, productivity, momentum, confidence, accomplishment, whether it's big or small, and then happiness and fulfillment along the way. Art is so much about the journey and not the end product. If you're not enjoying yourself along the way, then what difference does it make if you have a fantastic painting at the end, but you struggled and suffered and felt, you know, discontent the entire time. We need to turn that journey into the greatest fulfilling experience you could possibly have. And the final product becomes the icing on the cake. That's what I consider success to be. Minimizing the frustration and fear and procrastination, all the things that were very familiar to me when I was a very, well, I wasn't that young. I was in my 20s. And that was all I knew. So I don't want that for other people. And that's why I created my success path. So how can we achieve everything it takes to succeed as an artist? Is there a path that we can follow? Yes. Okay, so here is a little diagram of my pro success path. And um, for those of you who might be in my powerful design and personal color course, notice that the, um, the inside of this play, explore and clarify are greatly talked about in that course. But what's different about my success path is that I've added discover your soul at the beginning and celebrate at the end. So we begin with discover your soul on the far left here. Um, who are you? What do you love? And it's a time to reflect on your life because your life has clues. So first, we must know who we are. 
And then we move on to play. There are seven design elements and these are the basis of the visual language of art. They are line, color, shape, size, texture, direction, and value. Now, if we can play while we learn about all of these design elements, then we're going to not only learn about ourselves and how to exploit each one of these and find out what it is that we love about each one of these elements, but we will progress much further because we are not going to worry about the result. That's the benefit of play. We want to play as if we're a three-year-old or a four-year-old. We don't want to worry about results. We don't want to worry about what other people think. We don't want to feel like somebody's looking over our shoulder. This is for our own research. So in play, we learn how to use the seven design elements to create your unique personal visual language of art. And then we move into explore. So explore is where I'm going to introduce to you eight abstract compositions that were never mentioned in my powerful design and personal color course, but they are meant to help you strengthen your personal voice. So you're going to learn how to arrange the seven design elements into a strong composition. You will learn how to emphasize, you know, what it is exactly that you love. And it doesn't matter what genre of art you're interested in, whether it's realism, semi-realism, abstraction, you're still using the very same design elements. It's like a language. And once you understand the language, you can speak any genre you like. Then in clarify, we move on to critiquing one's artwork, which means I'm going to not only critique other people's work, but I'm going to provide you with the tools that you need. And you will actually have these tools by the time you get to clarify, you're going to be able to understand what it is that we're looking for when we critique our own work. We're going to be looking at how the value is working. We're gonna be looking at how color is interacting and you know what is the predominant thing we see first. There are a lot of things that we do when we're trying to analyze our work and decide if our painting is finished and we need to know how do we make it stronger. So the whole point of Clarify is to express yourself clearly um, with powerful design and personal color, but also have a emotional impact from it. In Celebrate, it's all about professional topics. So um, that is where we start to really talk about what the pro members want for the most part. I'm happy to talk about any professional topic, but the most obvious ones are, you know, how do I get into a gallery? How do I get into a juried show? How do I prepare my slides for submission to a juried show? How do I crop my photos? You know, you can you can list about a hundred different things, but not only that, we're going to celebrate all types of success and explore a lot of different pro topics. And then I had another question from Don: Will there be any teaching on marketing our work? So definitely, marketing uh, is a topic that is quite extensive, I would say. And yes, it it definitely would come under this celebrate category where how we market our work, you know, what's involved with that. Yes, we would cover that there. For those of you who either know about my online course, Powerful Design and Personal Color, or if you're in that course, why would you need pro? So how is the pro membership different from my online course, Powerful Design and Personal Color, abbreviated PDPC? Well, number one, unlike PDPC, you get me as your coach. I <laughs> put our coach. Okay. You get me as our coach. That's interesting. Um, so with PDPC, it is a independent study self-paced course, and we do have a private Facebook group, but I'm not as present there. And that was the intention. It's an evergreen course. It's a 24 seven access course. It's a lifetime course. So what's different is that if you're in this, now you have access to me. This new pro group is where I spend a lot of my time. I, I genuinely care because I feel like if people are in this pro membership, they are stepping up and saying, I really am serious here. And pro reinforces everything that you learn in PDPC. It's a much deeper dive into who you are. It's a deeper dive into what the design elements are speaking to you. It's a deeper dive into how you wish to express your personal voice. Eight abstract compositions are not uh, even talked about at all in PDPC. That's something new. And then again, how to critique your own work. So what will you gain from your pro membership? Well, number one, the confidence to be you. 
Confidence is a very big deal. (laughs) And especially when it comes time for you to sift and sort through all the styles that you've been inspired by and you're wondering, well, but which one is me? Well, that takes confidence and conquer fear and procrastination. Step-by-step success path is going to help you move along with confidence. You'll build a solid foundation in color and design, and you'll feel and see your progress. You'll reach higher levels of personal expression. And one of the best benefits of our pro Facebook group is that you will learn from each other. Now, all members will benefit. You're probably wondering, you know, we've got new members, we've got current members. How does this work? Well, for our new members, you learn from those who have been members longer. They've gone ahead of you by just a few months, a few classes. And, you know, they've been posting in the Facebook group and I've been answering questions and they're there to help you as well. It's a very giving and empathetic community. For our current members, they get to revisit past master classes and feel this new energy coming from new members and be inspired by them. Uh, It's kind of like the Montessori approach for those of you who know what that means. Montessori is a type of school where they've got the young students with the older students from kindergarten up to eighth grade. The older students, of course, are setting a great example for the younger ones, and the younger students are definitely full of energy. So it's really a win-win. It's also open to any level, any medium, and any genre. It's open to all. And we are a supportive community. We all have a lot to learn from each other. And, you know, I've, I've had many groups that I've put together. And, you know, as I mentioned in the other call, I always am very aware of the dynamics in any community. You know, is it supportive? Is it giving? Is it generous? Um, are people really making comments that are helpful instead of just saying, oh, I like your work, you know? And in this particular group, it, it is very different in that the posts by artists are, um, I'm always encouraging, encouraging the members to use our visual language of art when they describe work. Um, and what that just means is, what do you see What do you feel when you look at the artwork? Can you talk about, um, you know, how how your color is working, how your line is working, how your shapes are working? So we kind of ask more from our members when they post in Facebook. And that just makes um, a more diverse and full-bodied experience, I think. Okay, and here's our wonderful admin group. Early on, I put together an admin group to provide additional support and encouragement. We have Belinda on our call today. We have Lisa DeBase who's hosting. We also have Rob Smales up in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, He lives in Germany, Hamburg, Germany. And we have Marie Hoag with her wonderful dog, Nelson, who doesn't even fit into the photograph. So she's from Norway. We have Cynthia Lee who lives in LaGrange, Illinois. She's a uh, a very experienced artist. And then we have Tim O'Neill in the lower right. He lives in Nebraska, and he has a background in art history. So we have a full-fledged group. I couldn't be happier with them. They are so supportive and encouraging, and I'm grateful for every single one of them. Okay, here's just a couple snapshots to show you a little bit of what we do in the master classes. Master class one was called Discover Your Soul, and um, upper left would be a collection. One of our members, Robert Simmons gathered together and in the middle to real Kojan from Norway created a lovely contrast sketchbook and the upper right was Claudia Naus and that's a close-up of her contrast sketchbook masterclass two so here we're diving into the design elements there are seven of them we begin with line and mark making because it's just so much fun we made our own tools We tested out the marks with our tools. We put together a little sketchbook so we could remember not just all the experimental marks, but then we have a way to also document our favorite marks. Masterclass three, color. Color is one of the design elements that has a lot of different components. We're talking about, is the color really bright? Is it dull? Is it light? Is it dark? Color is complex. It also matters on, you know, what... Uh, the color is surrounded by. So color is one of those design elements that definitely deserves a very deep dive. I could not be happier 
with the progress I saw by our members. I was just so encouraged and grateful for the fantastic work that everybody has done. Another question, I'm a beginner, intermediate, advanced artist. Is the pro membership for me? Yes, I have only created lessons I feel we must know and must continue to do our entire creative lives. None of us ever know it all. There is always more to learn. We are artists of all levels and mediums. In order to provide master classes that allow artists of all levels to benefit, I offer options and flexibility in the exercises and projects. So regardless of level or chosen mediums, every artist can get the most out of each lesson. Okay, so workshops are something that maybe some of you in the chat could let me know how many workshops you've attended over your art career. You know, is it 5, 10, 15, 20? I myself have definitely, in, in my watercolor days alone, I think I was attending at least one or two every year. I love workshops. You know, you you know what they're like. You go there and everybody's so excited and then you come home and it's a bit of a, a low. At least that's that was my experience. And I'd love to know if you felt the same way. I look at workshops as kind of their short-term gains. They definitely give you energy and excitement and, you know, you're motivated, but they're kind of a quick fix. They don't tend to stay with you forever. You know, it's kind of like this whole roller coaster thing where there's a high and then there's a tremendous low. So the energy and the progress, at least for from my experience, are usually not very sustainable. And I felt that I must keep taking another workshop, another workshop, another workshop for my next quick fix. And if you look at the expense, there's a lot of expense associated. I now give workshops and I usually don't even know what the coordinator is charging. And recently I found out that they were charging like $2,500 per student because there's the tuition, there's the hotel, and then there's the food. And then that's not even including the airfare if you have to fly there. So think about the cost of going to a workshop. And, you know, of course that was the pre-pandemic days when you actually flew there. The way I look at it is that that is one way to learn. But I think that it's not really a long-term sustainable way for your art practice. And that's why I want to point out the difference. Pro is not a workshop and it's not a course. It's a comprehensive membership that's meant to be like you want your daily dose of vitamins, right? You want your daily encouragement. Well, this is a daily thing. Hey, I've got a couple of comments. Okay, great. Um, Michelle says, not that many workshops, life interfered. Lisa says, what, at least one workshop a month for four years, also <laughs> one class a week for five years. And then she added another class a week for the last year. <laughs> and when I would attend workshops, there were maybe one day or two days long. I would often forget most of it once I, I got home. And Roger says he's taken many workshops as well. Yes. Wow. That's impressive. I think if we put all of us together, we'd have, you know, probably over a thousand <laughs> workshops. And again, um, workshops are wonderful. They serve their purpose, but we're uh, pro is not trying to be a workshop and it's not trying to be a course. It's trying to be like your everyday go-to community, your everyday vitamin. I, I like to think of pro vitamins or your success path vitamins. We all uh, can benefit from a balance in our life. And I think that's what pro is trying to do is give you a balance to your approach to art. It's a comprehensive membership. The lessons are bite-sized along a path that lays a solid foundation. It's a foundation that I find is lacking for most artists, not because they don't try to get the foundation. It's just very hard to find all the pieces in one place. You get a little bit from this workshop, a little bit from that course, a little bit from that textbook, and it's very, very difficult to assimilate the information. One more comment. Becky is our champion. She says 12 mostly online. Oh. She totally agrees with your analysis of workshops. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Becky, because um, I don't want to, you know, if I'm the only one feeling this way, then I, I would want you to tell me that. But I'm glad to hear that you agree that that is kind of your uh, experience. Each month of lessons builds on the previous. So that's another way that uh, this differs. On the last call, I compared this to climbing a mountain. You know, I live in Montana. And for those of you who've ever done any, you know, hiking, um, especially up a very deep mountain, uh, we have switchbacks here. And they allow you to go gradually at your own pace, you know, stop if you want to take a drink of water. If you didn't have the switchback, you would be going straight up the mountain. You would slip and fall. 
So that's why we have switchbacks. And that's how I consider the pro membership to be is a zigzag up through this journey of being an artist so that you can go at your own pace. You can stay in the game. Very important that you show up um, in your studio and you do this consistently and over a long period of time. I consider the pro membership to be unlike the quick fix short-term gains in a workshop, a long-term gain. It is a long-term approach to your art. I consider this to be sustainable growth that you can see and you can feel. And it's for artists of all levels who struggle, have lost momentum or need support. Okay, I see some other comments there. I oh, guess yeah. I've got from Alice. He says he's studying a Bachelor of Visual Arts part-time, which is like going out to an expensive restaurant. I'm here to sample more widely. Oh, wow. That's, that's really awesome, though. Thanks for sharing that, Belinda. Okay, and then what will you miss if you don't join between November 22nd and December 5th at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time? Well, you would miss the ability to lock in the low monthly price for life. And that would be a shame because, you know, you want to get things at the lowest price possible. You will have to wait another six months for the next open enrollment. And that's kind of a bummer. Like I like to join things now rather than wait for anything. I'm very impatient. And you also would not have pro member discounts on my other courses. And again, you'd be missing out on a lot of growth that you could have right now. Do you want to wait or do you want to have that growth right now? And a very big thing here is that you would miss the support of our fabulous pro community. So are you guys ready to join pro? I hope you're ready to say yes. And then you will have between November 22nd and December 5th at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to join. And as soon as you join, you can actually start right away. Uh, I will have like a welcome call and an orientation call and that kind of thing, you know, as many as we need really to get you guys off to a great start. But essentially, as soon as you join, you have access to the master classes that have been published. There are three right now. You can get started, you know, anytime that you want. And there's also some welcome videos that I'd love for you to go through first before you start. Um, am I still doing online critiques? So the critiques will be done, but they won't happen until we get to the um the clarify stage. So, you know, that's because, well, we have a lot of kind of work to do before we get to that stage. And because this is going along a success path, I would like for us to learn a lot about powerful design and personal color so that by the time we get to critique the artwork that I choose to critique, many of you are going to, you know, understand what I'm talking about. It's a visual language of art. Pam, I've got a question about money and timing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> because 20 US dollars isn't much, but it turns out being 30 to 35 Australian dollars. So I have to be careful as to which part of the month it comes out of at the moment, oh, right? Okay, right. Um, so um, and I'm not complaining about the price. It's got nothing to do with that. It's just simply right. being organised enough to, about it. So I'm wondering, <laughs> when I enrol, right. does the recurring payment come out on the same date or do you have a particular date that you choose? That's a great question. So because the enrollment is between November 22nd and December 5th, let's say that you would prefer at the beginning of the month, you might want to wait till early December, because let's say you, you come in on December 4th, your next um, payment will come out then on January 4th. And it's always going to be the same day of the next month. Whereas if so you we don't have to pay till January. If you come in, like, yeah, if you join on December, December. 4th of early December, you won't be charged again until the early part of the next month. It'll be the very same right. day of the next month. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's very right. an important question because you do, I mean, I guess I didn't even really think about that, but um, because the enrollment period occurs at the end of one month and the beginning of the next, it might really matter to you whether you have your, um, you know, the fee coming out late month, early month. So you get to choose. And I'm actually glad that I, that I have it now spanning two months. So thank you so much. Alice. Yeah. yeah. Good question. There's, there's another, so that's great. Cause the 28th of the, of the month is the ideal day for it to come out. Oh, so that's great. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> um, I'm so happy. Yeah. yeah. So am I. <laughs> Did you have any um, questions? So or? the other question, yeah, there's an extension on that right, relating to the professional design and personal color process, the, the training course. Right. Um, I think you mentioned that you're being very generous about that, that if we're in the pro membership, then we don't have the same charge for that. Correct. You get it at 50% off. 
Okay. Yeah, F off. But let me and let me just um, elaborate on that. I think what you know. Well, here's the first thing. Normally, that course is around six hundred U.S. dollars, right? Yeah. Now I'm giving you essentially. Um, well, it's two ninety nine, two hundred ninety nine U.S. dollars off by being a pro member. Well, that more yeah. than covers over a year of the pro membership. That's the first it's, thing. It, it, right. It's a no brainer. <laughs> well, right, it is. But the other thing I want to tell you uh, is that I would like members to be um, active as a pro member for three months before they purchase it at 50% off. And that's for a couple of reasons. Thank Number you. one is that my concern would be that if a person purchased the course and the pro membership they might be like, Hmm, which one should I do first? Maybe I should do them both. And I mean, I know what's in the pro membership. You, you kind of have to get situated with anything. So I would encourage you right. to just take advantage of getting um, situated. And then after three months, then start the PDPC because then you will have okay. done. Yeah. So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> that, that makes sense. I, I didn't think you'd be that generous. Oh, <laughs> I was I was expecting you might be wanting us to enroll straight away when we when you're being so generous. For a couple of reasons, feel that it's best to wait. Um, I, I would prefer yeah, you okay. not do that right away. Yeah, it might be too much. Thank you. Because so that, that was that was what I wanted to enroll in originally. Yes. But the pro membership is um, the, it's sweet. You know what you'll like about PDPC is that they they really go hand in glove. It was PDPC first for me. And then reflecting on if I could create a second course, what would that be? And I thought instead of a course, I'm going to make it a membership so that yep. not only am I there for you, but I can walk you through it and, and kind of we can go through it together. Yeah. Thanks, Pam. You're welcome. So thank you all for your time. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in pro. And um, thank you very much. Have a nice evening or a daytime. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank Dana. you all. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.